Hi, this is Dr. Rubenstein, and uh, we're going to be looking at an interesting place here on uh, on Congo Street. Let me turn it around here and uh, show you what's going on. What we're going to be looking at today is what was called the Marshall Factory Complex. That was on that side of Congress Street, all the way down, um, well, all the way down to where Ferry Street is, just about. Now, up over here, believe it or not, there was a street that came down through here called Prospect Street. Now, this has all been built up. It's all been changed, of course, now. But somewhere in there, probably right through here, where you see that little uh, green rod there, was where Prospect Street came through. And then across the street, this was all an industrial complex. Um, Benjamin Marshall, it's called Marshall's Factory Complex. Uh, Benjamin Marshall was born in England, came to Troy from uh, New York Mills, now U near Utica. He established a textile mill on the south side of Congress Street, uh, what was known as uh, Mount Ida Falls, we'll, we'll take a look at that, uh, in 1826. Let me uh, cross the street here, if I can do it without getting hit, possibly. This is the cookie factory here, and it was actually at one time um, Troy File Company. So this used to be the Troy File Company at one point, and there was a lot of uh, a lot of business through here. So this is this is all private property, no trespassing. So I'm not going to do that. But this at one time was the file company, Troy File Company. And the building is pretty much the way it looked before, I guess. But there was a number of companies down through here. Um, he had built a water system with a 600 foot water, uh, water tunnel to a brick mill. Uh, it had a 24 foot overshot wheel in it. And it was called, as I said, Marshall's Factories. And there was a bunch of factories along here. Uh, Kilburn Manufacturing Company, wire and hardware specialties. Tompkins Brothers Machine Shop, which was back over in there. Um, Troy Springs Works. R.W. Gromley and, and Company, Ming Mills. Kellogg Manufacturing Company. Troy File Company. And then W.A. Shields Factory was along, along the... Uh, Post in Kilmore. And we'll just take a look over here. Now, this over here, this was the Manning Paper Company, this area over in here. There's the Post and Kill down there. We'll take a walk over here. This was all industrial area. Now, I doubt there's much left. And of course, um, well, you can see the topography and the uh, geology doesn't offer much. But there's another spot there. And we're going to walk down further down in there and see what we can find of any ruins. But this was quite the industrial complex. Um, I'm sure I've put up a map somewhere along the line here. If not, I will. Um, there's the other side of Congress there. There's the police, school resource officer. Now we're coming up on 15th Street here. This is relatively new. Ah, this must be part of the uh, the old mill works.
right there. So you, there is some some uh, artifacts still left here from the time period. And this was a Manning Paper Company. Now, Manning and Peckman established it in 1846. Later became the, the uh, Manning Paper Company. And in 62, 1962, the company moved from Postman Hill here to uh, Green Island. And it was demolished in 1980 and eventually replaced by the, uh, well, Polytech Commons, which is part of RPI. This was all buildings over here at one time also. It has... Uh, it was, it was taken down because it was crumbling and becoming a, a, a eyesore. This is 15th Street here. But what we find right here was the Manning Paper Company. That's what was in this complex here. There was a lot of other store, uh, stores, businesses, no doubt about that. And then down over here, we see uh, some other areas. And what we're going to do, we're going to go down in there. This, this was a great flat spot. I'll, again, you'll be able to see from the maps exactly, uh, exactly how, how big this was. But again, I doubt there's any, any sort of... Uh, artifacts left because this was all massaged quite a bit parking garages and things of that nature so this was part of the manning factory not manning marshall factory system it was all through here and that's a view going up 15th street and uh, we're going to continue on here and see what we can find down closer to the posting hill. And so I think with that, going across the street, and we will pick up a little bit later in another spot. Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein. We are continuing our look down here um, of the Marshall factories. And we're going to take a quick look around down through here and see what we can find along the posting hill. Let me turn this around. And you can see we're up there. And then over in here, um, well, there's some brick here and things of that nature. So... We can see that this was part. Of, this is part of the structure here. There's a road down through there. I'm not sure what that goes to, but this was certainly a structure here. And uh, we're going to take a walk around and see what we can see here, and maybe what we can't see here. Interesting spot here. This, of course, is part of the industrial complex, also. I don't know. I don't know if we've overshot it or not. There's a road down there. 
if we will look over here along this bank and see what we can see over here. Well, there is a road over there. So I think, I think I'm gonna go over that way and see what we can find over there. Old fencing there. Old equipment and things. We will make our way down there somewhere. We sure will. Okay. We'll pick up back down there. So we're, we were up there at the top of that hill. And this is part of the, uh, the ruins. This was all part of the manufacturing center. I'm not sure what that is, but you can see the ruins over there. That's a power substation there. But this is what's left of the industrial center that was here. And we'll take a look. This is a uh, pretty impressive. I'm amazed that they blacktopped us down through here, but they did. But this is part of the complex for all the uh, machinery. This was what was running. This is the uh, part of the system, the water system that was built by Marshall. This is part of that industry that's been on fire, of course. So this, as I said, was quite the industrial industrial center. Fallen in disrepair. Again, I'll have all types of pictures and uh, maps that will show all of this. You know, you wonder about exactly the industry that was here. And, of course, what happened, um, you've got other industries coming up. Coal, gas, fuel oil, things of that nature. And uh, you just didn't need these uh, the water power anymore. That's part of the... Uh, Posting Hill there. Going out towards the Hudson. The falls is over there. There's a dam over there. And there's a falls, a bigger falls over there. You can see some of it there. But these ruins are, are pretty spectacular. And of course this road would have gone back down to the other road. I've already mentioned all the factories and things. And you can look on the map that I have provided. And uh, I'm gonna put the, 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 the uh, map, the, the sandbar map, fire map at the end. So you can kind of look at that too. It's pretty extensive down here, pretty extensive. And parts of this complex were still being used into 1962. Now, I don't think they were using water power at the time or anything like that, but it was all, it was all there. Lots of bits, 
lots of bricks. You can see how extensive this was. There's ruins all the way up to the top of that, up into the top there. So up by Congress Street, <clears throat> it's been, it has been uh, refurbished, if you want to think of it that way. That goes down over by the by the falls. That's a, you know. I am going to do a couple things. One, I'm going to get a walking stick. Because it's not, <laughs> it's not wise to walk around the woods without your third leg. A walking stick. I am sort of amazed that this is just like this. That there's no, I don't know. I would have almost thought this was going to be off limits. And it very well might be, and I just don't know it. But it's one of those things. When they tell you, you'll move. Alrighty. Move my walking stick out. That's what I'm doing, getting my walking stick up. There we go. Just going to explore this a little more. Now, I think this had something to do with the water. I'm not sure, though. That's a power that's a power station, a substation up there. This I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The road went there at one point. Ventilation. Ventilation. Interesting. Interesting. Ventilation. Or is that the roar of water? Which it very well could be. Looking up at the backside of Congress Street up there. This is older road here. This is relatively new. I'm just so sort of surprised. But you know, they built, RPI might own all this now. That's a possibility. Huh, smiley face. And although I'm not going to do that today, over there on the other side of the posting hill, we'll do this one time, um, uh, eventually, was known as Hoboken Hollow. And what was Spring Street was known one time as Hollow, Hollow Road, I think it was called. So, some of that looks just dangerous. Oh, the little light's blinking. As I said, this is the first time I've used this camera. It's, um, well, so what I've seen so far from it looks good. So I like that. It doesn't have an automatic backup. So I don't know about that. Ah. 
<sighs> now I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the uh, this looks like it was a road at one time. It probably was. Probably used by the uh, factory. Factories. Now, there's a road there too. Understand, 1800s. They're still using wagons here. And so, uh, somewhere, this ends here. You can see parts of the falls there. Now this, let's go down to the water. Oh, there's piping there. And there's ruins that come right out to the water there. Probably was part of that system that we were looking at before. And I came from up there. Now that looks like part of a dam. Which it could have been part of his dam that was here. Because he had a couple of them. And that looks kind of like a sluice gate at the top. Which is very possible. This looks somewhat original. So this was probably, this might have been part of the system he used. Not sure. Well that's certainly some sort of a road that goes down that way. And This stops here, no doubt about that. And I don't see any ruins as such. Now the big falls, is around the corner there, and there's people falling off of it all the time, I guess. Well, not all the time, I shouldn't say all the time. Quite a bit. People climb up there, seems like every couple years, they either fall off and get killed, or they have to be rescued. I always think the geology is very interesting. And I always say the same thing, I wish I knew more about it. February. It's in the 40s, which isn't too bad. There is a painting that I will include of this. I think it was made in 72, I want to say. I'll have that information in the description below. Always check out the description. Some people don't, and they they say, well, you're wrong about this. And well, <laughs> I corrected that in the, in the uh, description. So always check out the description. I really didn't think I'd find this much down here, considering we were talking about the 1800s. Oh, let's see here.
This is fascinating. Hard to say what that was. Hard to say. I just, it's amazing what was here. It's amazing what's still here. So down on this level, I'm almost thinking this was where the Shields Wire Factory was, which was gone in 1904. Um, this was probably part of Manning's Paper Company here. There was a Tim and Company Shirtwaist Factory in here somewhere. Torrey Springs, I already showed you where that was. Uh, or Torrey File, I should say. And uh, as I say, Marshall was also known for creating a series of tunnels drilled through rock that took full advantage of the... Uh, of the uh, um, water and hydropower available. He was president of the uh, Schenectady and Troy Railroad, president board member of the Troy Female Academy at Seminary, Edmund Willard, uh, also part of the Commercial uh, Savings Bank. In 1848, he established the Marshall Infirmary, which was across the posting hill here. Uh, his son was mentally handicapped, and he didn't like what was typically there for those who are handicapped. So he made his own hospital. So this is this is what's left of an industrial area that is really pretty remarkable for its day. No doubt this was buildings here for one of the factories. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Now I'm hoping I've got it all. That up there was on a fire. No doubt local youth use. Well, I hope you liked our little look here at the uh, ruins, what we found down here, part of the Marshall factory system, a lot of different factories down here, and I was uh, impressed that it was easier to get down here than I thought it was going to be. So with that, I just want to say goodbye, uh, ring the bell, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. I really appreciate that. Have a good day. This is Dr. Brugenstein. Thank you for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. Please help me reach 5,000 subscribers. Have a good day.